Mr. Happy by Roger Hargreaves. On the other side of a world, on the other side of the world, where the sun shines harder than here, and where the gra and where the trees are a hundred feet tall, there is a country called Happy Land. As you might very well expect, everybody who lives in Happy Land is as happy as the days is long. Wherever you go, you you see smiling faces all around. It's such, it, it's such a happy place that even the flowers seem to smile in happy land. land. And as well as the people being happy, all the animals are ha happy land are happy as well. Have you ever seen a mouse smile or a cat or a dog or even a worm? You go to happy land. You go to happy land. This is a story about someone who lived there, who happened to be happened to called Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy is fat, round, and happy. He lived in a small cottage beside a lake, at a foot of a mountain, and close to the wood in Happy Land. One day, Mr. Happy, while Mr. Happy was was out walking through the tall trees in these woods near his house. He came across something which was very rather extraordinary. There in the trunk of one of the very tall trees was a door. Not a very large door, but Nevertheless, a door. A small, narrow, yellow door. Mr. Deed, I wonder who lives there, thought Mr. Happy. And he turned the handle of that small, yellow, narrow, yellow door. The door wasn't locked, and it swung open quietly, easily. Just inside a small yellow, narrow yellow door was a small, narrow, winding staircase leading downwards. Mr. Happy squeezed his rather large body through the, through the rather thin doorway and began to walk down the stairs. The stairs went round and down, round, and round, and down, and down, and round, and round, and down, down, and round, and round. Down, and round, and round. Eventually, after a long time, Mr. Happy reached the bottom of the staircase. He looked around and saw there in front of him was another small yellow door. This one was red. Miss Happy knocked at the door. Who's there? Said a voice, a sad, squeaky sort of voice. Who's there? Mr. Happy pushed the door very slowly, and there, sitting on a stool, was somebody who looked like Mr. Happy. Except that he didn't look happy at all. In fact, he looked downright miserable. Miserable. Hello, hello," said Mr. Happy. "I'm Mr. Happy." "Oh, are you indeed?" said the person who looked like Mr. Happy but wasn't. "Well, my name is Mr. Miserable." And I'm and I'm the most miserable person in the world. Why are you so miserable? Asked Miss Happy. Because I am, replied Mr. Miserable. How would you be happy like me? Asked Mr. Happy. I've given something to be happy. 
anything to be happy, said Mr. Miserable. But I'm so miserable, I don't think... Oh, I don't think... I don't think... I could... I could ever be happy. He added miserably. Besides, he made up his mind quickly. Follow, follow me, he said. Where who? asked Mr. Miserable. Don't argue, said Mr. Happy. And went out through the small yellow red door. Mr. Miserable anticipated and then followed. Up and up, around, up and up the winding staircase they went. Up and up and round and round and up and up and round and round and up and up and round and round until they came out into the wood. Follow me, Sim. Follow me, said Mr. Happy again, and they both went off through the wood, back to Mr. Happy's house, cottage. Mr. Hap, Mr. Miserable stayed in Mr. Happy's cottage for quite some time, and during that time, the most remarkable thing that happened, because Mr. Miserable was was living in Happy Land. He even he even slow. So he stopped being very miserable. He started to be happy. His mouth stopped turning down at the corners. And ever so slowly started turning up. And Mr. Meswell did something that he that he never did done it the whole of his life. He smiled. And then he chuckled. Which has turned to a giggle. Which became a laugh. A big booming laugh. A giant, huge, enormous laugh. And Mr. Happy was so surprised that he started to laugh as well. And both of them laughed and laughed. They laughed and the other side hurts and their eyes watered. Miserable, Mr. Miserable, Mr. Miserable laughed and laughed and Mr. Happy laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And because they were laughing so much, everybody who saw them started laughing as well. Even the birds began to laugh and the trees, and the trees began to laugh. They thought that everybody called Mr. Miserable who just could stop laughing. <laughs> and that's the end of, and that's really the end of the story. Except to say that you, if you ever feel so miserable as Mr. Miserable, you used to, you used to know exactly what to do now, don't you? Just turn the mouth up, the course. <laughs> Go on! <laughs>